Everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Taurus, you are up, so this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, um, or if you are a cross-watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Taurus, in, <clears throat> strong Taurus in their chart, this is for you as well, or if you are uh, was just guided to this video and you don't have Taurus in your chart and you don't have, or you're not dealing with anybody that has Taurus in their chart, Maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, um, like my video, comment, uh, share my video, as well as um, if it does not resonate, try your uh, rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, as well as your moon sign. And if you don't um, know what your rising sign or your uh, ascendant sign is, you can go to Cafe Astrology. In order to get your rising sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign. And I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury. Um, keep in mind that the cards that I use in my videos are, have already been shuffled. I'll cut them on camera so you can see that. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, the, it will be also listed in the description box as well as the Cafe Astrology link for your birth charts. Just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting my channel, um, everybody that has booked a reading with me. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all don't know how much I really appreciate um, y'all just continuing to encourage me to continue to stay on this path. And I just want to say thank you. Getting a little teary-eyed, so sorry. But overall, um, it's a lot of stuff that's going to be uh, going on. I don't know if y'all, like I said, watch Aluna Ash. And I've been saying for, since I've been on this channel to watch her. Because she um, is very, very, very in tune with what's going on. But there's also other battles that she knows. That there's a certain group that's going to realize something. And, um... I'm part of that group that she was talking about and okay I was put here to do this and with me realizing everything that's going on I understand the overall bigger picture of the thing so every day I have times where I'm just like, why am I doing this? But I understand. I understand why I have to do this. I have to keep going because it's a lot of people um, that need help. They're going to need help and they're going to need guidance through all the stuff that's going on. And a lot of people are waking up. There's a great awakening happening. Up. And if you are watching channels like this, watching readings like this, you are very in tune with the overall universe. And a lot of things are going to be coming of reveal. They are revealing revealing a lot of things right now on the news. But they have the, so many people um, withdrawn from the news because of the way that they have done things in the past. And I say this on my other channel, on my Build a Nation by Word of Mouth channel. And it's a lot of stuff that's getting exposed. And a lot of people that are woke, real woke individuals that understand um, the overall concept and understand how deep. Um, and how meaningful our life is, is realizing that we're going to go through a lot of different things right now. A lot of different things and a lot of people are having transformations and they're waking up. And the main thing about Twin Flames, I don't know if they wanted me to talk about this because you have a big purpose in the overall outcome of what's going to happen um, with the, the whole world, okay? And y'all are going to realize that our focus is more about love when it comes to twin flames. Um, we are, um, we were put here with a certain individual that's supposed to help us with the whole love aspect. 
And if you are a true, true twin flame and you really have a twin flame, you know this. You know that your bigger purpose is to help. Um, you are the collective as well as you're helping the collective. And Aluna Ash helps you understand that. Um, so I really recommend that a lot of people go um, check her out if y'all have not checked her out. If y'all need help with meditating, you never meditated before, she has meditation um, uh, sessions that she does and she goes live to help people with that. So big shout out to her. I want to tell her thank you for helping uh, push me. Even though I still don't understand everything and I'm learning, you know, day to day, but I see why I have to do this. Okay, so enough about that. Don't want to keep mumbling. But if you are interested in booking a reading with me, my readings are only uh, $25 each. It's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. Um, you can email me at goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com. And if you didn't get my email, it's in the description box of my video. And then also um, the uh, About Me section of my channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything. Clear the energy. I am a Taurus, so I'm a Taurus son. Uh, this is who I'm trying to be. So I'm trying to, your sun sign is who you're trying to be throughout your lifetime of who you are now. So I'm trying to gain all the characteristics of a Taurus and learn how to overall ground myself with the other uh, things that's in my placement, um, in my chart. So your sun sign is very important, even though you have all the other aspects of other signs, your sun sign is very important because it is helping you ground yourself. It's like who you want to, like the, what sign you have to be in order for you to be able to ground all the rest of the signs that's in your other placements on how you deal with things. So chakras, um, birth chart is something that I really had to uh, learn. Um, and now I'm understanding, like I said, who I am and I'm understanding my purpose and I'm waking it up on my own spiritual journey. So I get the process. I get it. I get it. I, I am a twin flame, even though me and my twin flame, um, I possibly could have, t I, 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 I believe I have two twin flames and this is the first time that I'm talking about this. I guess I needed to talk about this on this video um, because of who I am in my past life. Um, I know why I have two people that's in my life. That's very, very important to me. Um, but it was me. It had I had to go through my spiritual awakening in order for me to really, truly, truly um, understand what the overall purpose is in it. But I'm getting it now. Um, so I'm one of those rare, rare individuals that you hear about that has two of them. So yes, I do have two of them. Um, and I'm not with either one of them, but I understand like them coming in my life the way they did come in my life was to help me open up my past life. I have had past life, uh, two past life um, regressions. So that has helped me understand who I am. And I like I talk about this all in my building nation by word of by the word of mouth uh, station um, all the time about me going through my spirit, my journey and the things that I needed to do in, in order for me to help activate my DNA. And that's another thing that uh, Luna talks about is your DNA activating about bloodlines and all that stuff is going to be getting revealed. Um, so I'm a part of that. So um, my life has been very entertaining. Um but I understand the overall purpose of it. So I'm sorry if I'm, I'm rambling. So Tauruses, you are my squad. I do have a lot of Libra in my chart and Sagittarius in my chart. Um, but um, overall, I still consider myself as Taurus because I and that is who I was until in my 30s when I start learning about birth charts and all that stuff. So you have been a major part of me. Um, to, my tour side has been a major part of me, but I'm learning to grasp the other aspects of what's in my other birth chart to help me um, be who I'm destined to be. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and get started. And let's go ahead and cut the cards. So Scorpio season, as you as you know, is uh, very emotional. It's very transforming, uh, very um, uh, rewarding if you do the the right steps in order for you to go through your transformation 
Um, if you take the proper steps, if you do the things that you need to do to help heal yourself, everything that was meant to come in your life is going to come to you. And a lot of people are realizing that that's a lot. That's how a lot of people are manifesting the things that they want because they're taking time to heal, um, you know, their self. They're taking time to um, not be so um, closed minded when it comes to, you know, uh, challenging your beliefs you looking at the things that are getting exposed to you as far as your overall the overall world and everything like that you are willing to take in you know that consciousness um and help you um be more knowledgeable than you ever been before and that's what scorpio season is about but it's also about tower moments when the ones that don't want to transform and the ones that don't want to do that change that scorpio is going to sting you <laughs> and that's where the, the towers fall. So it's either you're going to have good towers or you're going to have bad towers during this um, this season of Scorpio. So that's why a lot of people talk about it so much. Um, so this is going to be a different reading. Um, I'm doing all zodiac signs this way for the end of the month for in the rest of Scorpio season. So people could understand exactly what it is that they need to focus on in order to help them on their spiritual journey and help them through their um, ascension process, their DNA activations. Um, and you know all the just different things that's happening with them um so let's go ahead and get started so again this is going to be for Taurus, sun moon and rising or if you are a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Taurus in their chart this is for you as well so some of y'all are wanting overall forgiveness in a certain situation. Some of y'all have been put in a situation where somebody is wanting to ask you for overall forgiveness. Um, you possibly, Taurus, could have been um, somebody that was holding on to the past and was not the one that was um, overall more forgiving or cross watcher. This could have been you. But somebody is feeling some type of regret. Somebody is feeling some type of sadness that they went in a certain direction or they didn't make a certain change. Um, but somebody is, uh, I'm seeking, somebody wants to give somebody a apology. Um, so this is about, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so it's like i was saying towards this could have been you or this could have been cross watchers some of you were stopping yourself in order to be able to progress in a certain oh a certain way because you had a lot of resentment um tauruses are very nurturing they're very loyal people they're very um they are very the ones that put their heart um, out on you know before everybody else does so they they're the ones that sacrifice their hearts before any other person will okay and that's one thing that's about Taurus is that causes us to be so bull-minded because we tend to want to be stuck in a certain way in a certain outcome and we don't never want to be um we tend to put ourselves in those situations but we never want anybody else to put us in a situation where they're putting us in uh, like a um uh, a tank full of sharks you see what i'm saying um we will give you the um y'all will tend we will tend to give people you know the benefit of the doubt before um and we give them the trust and then sometimes like i said they take over take um a lot of people take um advantage of our kindness and it causes us to be in certain situations um which you know that you were not supposed to be in that certain situation because you were being too you know gullible pretty much so i'm seeing a lot of tourists are trying to forgive themselves as well as forgive other people that have caused any pain in their life um cause any mental conflict or cause any emotional dissatisfaction i'm seeing that overall you're asking for forgiveness um, there is um, some of you Tauruses that are realizing the success. Some of you are having success when it comes to your relationships um, with the person that you're dealing with, your family, your friends, your work life, um, your overall um, outlook of life. I'm seeing that you all are getting the success. You are seeing that, you know, everything is moving in a positive um direction um so this is says i know that there is no greater goal than to love so like i was saying a lot of us are very uh big hearted people a lot of y'all are you know really kings of um of, of pinnacles 
queens of pinnacles because you are very um, caring people. You are very nurturing and you're very hardworking. Um, a lot of Tauruses are very good mothers. A lot of y'all uh, Taurus men are very good fathers. And you, you, we could, the, when it comes to um, the negative aspects of a Taurus, you know, we can be very controlling. We can be very selfish. Um, we can be very um, jealous at times, but at the same time, it's for our better off good. We're always protective when it comes to the people and the things that we love. So I'm seeing a lot of y'all are getting, having success in the overall bonds that you have with certain people. I'm seeing that y'all are, a lot of y'all are admitting to yourself if you know like i said you're wanting to let go of a certain situation or a certain uh uh habit or if you're wanting just to open up a little bit more to the person that you love you love or the person that you're in a relationship now i'm seeing that a lot of y'all are being a little bit more honest with yourself which is causing you to be able to sprout in a different direction than where you were before so i see a lot of growth for tauruses during scorpio season i'm seeing a lot of transformations i'm seeing a lot of y'all are gaining clarity a lot of y'all are being um you know that self-starter and doing the things that you need to do to, in order for you to be on the right path in order for you not to have you know hit those blockages yes there is going to be some bad news is bad news that some people are going to be um hearing um i, I believe through during scorpio season is what they're telling me um some of y'all are going to be hearing um getting some truth um to a light of a situation that's going to be coming unrevealed this could be something that was in the past that you're barely going to be getting recognition um you're going to barely getting realization of now is what i'm getting from but somebody does want to be overall honest somebody does want to come back and be honest with to you towards or this could be you being wanting to be honest to some somebody else um, the next card that we have is acceptance. So like I was saying, you are accepting, um, you know, destiny. You are accepting, you know, the realizing that you do need to make some type of transformation. You do need to make some type of renewal so you could seek peace. A lot of y'all, like I said, have been more on loving everybody else, taking care of everybody else. And it was causing you to be a lot in a lot of mental conflict because we have a lot of purple and a lot of uh blue here which it has to deal with emotions and mental uh, stability so a lot of y'all like i was saying was not accepting people you were doing so much for certain people certain individuals and you were not um acknowledging the real character of who this person really was is what i'm getting so a lot of y'all are being honest with yourself and you're accepting seeing somebody for who they are as uh, as and this person kept you in mental conflict um a lot of y'all are were fe fearing to open up a lot of y'all were fearing you know some type of change because of who you are as far as your zodiac sign um some of y'all are still dealing with insecurity issues um some of y'all are also fearing uh somebody there could be also somebody that is fearing some type of commitment, um, but they know um, they're they're they they're fearing the commitment, but they are going to overall accept destiny and accept the overall outcome in a certain situation. Um, some of y'all are um, going through some type of uh, fears as far as paranoid. Um, some of y'all could be a little bit paranoid um, towards which is causing you to be um, lose a little bit ground with yourself is what I'm getting from this. But I'm doing, I am seeing that some of y'all were in the past um, lacking confidence within yourself. And now you are gaining the strength. Now you are gaining the courage. And now you are trying to overstand your fears. So it says, I realize that I am testing my Okay, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So that means that basically y'all are also going to be concentrating on, you know, healing yourself, continue to heal yourself, continue to be very loyal to, you know, the things that you know that are overall for your better good. You be loyal to those things and the things that are not for you. I see that y'all are going to be accepting the, the outcome and, and removing yourself from um, some type of... Um, conflict is what i'm getting from this okay so let's keep moving forward okay so the next card that we have is dreams so a lot of y'all have been getting the synchronicities a lot of y'all have been getting dreams you know from your higher self as well as god the universe whoever you see as the higher your higher power as well as your ancestors some of y'all are very very in tune with the overall universe and you have no choice to be in overall tune with the overall inner universe because you are an earth sign so that the earth is about nature the earth is about everything that's put on you know the earth gaia um to help you know 
you they pretty much earth signs are here to help ground everybody else and i'm seeing we have no choice but to be in tune with overall nature to for us to be able to help everybody else on their path we are the ones that's pushing out of that certain energy of earth energy to everybody else that does not have that energy do you understand what i'm saying so a lot of y'all have always been in guidance with the overall universe um and now you're fit you're finding out that this is a success for you this is a a, a good trait to have um, so I, I'm seeing a lot of y'all are going to just be understanding yourself a little bit more. Y'all are going to be following the synchronicities as well as the signs. Um, some of y'all are going to be getting some messages. Um, this could be from the spiritual realm or this can be a physical message um, from somebody is going to be getting some. You're going to be getting a message from somebody. Um, the next card that we have is insight. So this is about you understanding yourself. Um, Taurus is, like I said, we tend to be uh, misunderstood a lot. So this is about you gaining the balance. This is about you going within and you basically getting uh, the confidence and you just being a little bit more creative as being a little bit more in your, your thoughts and you just accepting change for what it is, is what I'm getting. Um, this is also about you going through awakening. So there could be, like I said, a lot of Tauruses that are going to be going through a major awakening during Scorpio season is what I'm getting from here. If you see, it says understanding, awakening, awareness, and self-evaluation. So like I was saying earlier, a lot of y'all are going to be going through self-discoveries. A lot of y'all are going to be realizing who you really are and why you were meant to come to um why you were meant to and why you were put on this earth is what i'm getting um the next card that we have is the mind and so when the mind comes out this is about you opening up this is also about your third eye and your crown chakra opening up so possibly the ones that are having those type of activations in that area you're going to be feeling some type of energy some type of heat and that's just letting you know that your third eye is functioning right and your 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 crown chakra is functioning and a lot of y'all like i said are going through a major transformation um this is also about you using your imagination you basically met uh, using your imagination visualizing the things that you want so you can continue to manifest you know good things in your life um so i'm seeing some of y'all are going to be opening up a little bit more this is an, about that's just clarifying that some of y'all are going to be a little bit more um you know direct when it comes to you displaying your overall emotions if somebody is you know doing things to make you feel like you um they're not here to help you i'm seeing a lot of y'all are just going to be open up a little bit more some of y'all are going to be finding a lot of your independence is what i'm getting some of y'all have been seeking that independence some of y'all have been enjoying yourself some of y'all are missing the fun and you know that enjoyment that you had in your life um this is also about you just knowing that you are beautiful you knowing that you are handsome you also taking in the things that you know that will make you be overall good Tauruses, we tend to overeat. That is a pleasure to us. Food is a pleasure to us. We like to have materialistic things. We like to have the good things. And this is also letting you know, keep a troll, keep a keep um, control of that side of you. Don't do things that's going to cause you to go back into, you know, the pleasures, overeating, overspending money, um, doing the things that you know that you will keep you stuck. I'm seeing that a lot of y'all, like I said, are also going to be building bonds with, you know, the persons that the people that you love. A lot of y'all have a lot of people that's around you that likes that ha that has a lot of passion for you is what I'm getting from this, too. So there could be a lot of sex that's taking place um, during uh, Scorpio season. Um, we also have a 10 here. So this is about a completion. This is about a new transformation. This is about a new cycle, a new opportunity for you to take, um, you know, to help you move forward in your life is what, I, what I'm getting from this. Okay, so forgiving and uh learning so like i was saying a lot of y'all um that card of the forgiveness came out for a reason because a lot of y'all are wanting overall forgiveness there is somebody that possibly like i said that hurt you towards that wants you to forgive um them for the what they did what type of mental conflicts that are emotional conflicts that they put you through um this is also about you learning yourself you basically taking the time to invest in yourself as well as you being more you know about you cause you to be able to learn um yourself a little bit more and that's the reason why that self-discovery card came out because at that time you realized your worth and it once you realize your own worth everybody else around you has to realize their um your worth too and then it's going to weed out the people that's 
not supposed to be in your life and the ones that are supposed to be in your life is going to show show up and they're going to be asking for forgiveness is what I'm getting from this too. Um, some of y'all are forgiving like you're, you've been going through um, things that have hurt you in your past as far as, you know, past relationships as well as, you know, um, things that dealt with your childhood. Um, there could be some of y'all that are wanting to forgive, you know, your parents is what I'm getting and you're trying to heal those relationships with your parents. Um, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So I'm just seeing a lot of y'all are going to be um, opening up um, this is also saying it is safe to love. So they're like I said, this is the signal to letting you know that it is safe for you to open up. It is a safe for you to allow, you know, true love to come into your your heart. Some of you Tauruses could be possibly single or if you haven't been with somebody in a while, they're telling you it's finally okay for you to open up and allow somebody to come in your life to love you the proper way. Um, so it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I'm just seeing that a lot of y'all could possibly have have somebody that's new going to be coming into your life that's going to help um and the universe is telling you to open up to this person um the next card that we have is flirt so this is basically you extending your lighthearted energy you opening up you being more on the playfulness side as well as just being more you know loving this is also about you taking the time to spend you know with those relationships that you know that you have a deep bond with that makes you feel overall happy and that makes you feel like you all have some type of sense of purpose of being in that person's life so I'm seeing there could possibly, like I said, be somebody that's coming also back from your past. That is um, somebody that you are, that was always your soulmate. Um, this is also about the Tauruses. Let's say if you have, um, are in a relationship or that is not good for you and it's keeping you mentally stuck. I'm seeing that the manifestation that you're going to be doing is manifesting somebody to come in your life that is your overall soulmate. So some of y'all, it looks like y'all have some type of, dis uh, some, some, some Tauruses have a decision to make. Is what I'm getting. Some of y'all are going to have somebody that's coming back from your past that is your soulmate um, that's going to be wanting some type of forgiveness. Some of y'all are going to be meeting a brand new person um, and this person is going to cause you, you're going to have to trust um, that this person is coming into your life to help heal you is what I'm getting. Um, this person possibly is going to have a strong connection to you. They're going to show you some strong passion that they have ha that they, they have with you. Um, and then, like I was saying, there could be a lot of sex that's going to be taking place in Scorpio season is what I'm getting from this too. The spring card keeps coming out. So that's just letting me know that everybody is in connection with everybody. With Everybody is in the same type of um, cycle as far as when it comes to healing and going through transformations is what I'm getting from this. Okay. So this is also spring. This is about you in the spring. There could be some, a lot of new beginnings that's going to be taking place in the spring. This is also about you Taurus. Let's say if you, um, lost touch with yourself past spring, or if you were going through your transformation and you start realize that your, uh, the spring is when you start going through your transformation. I'm just seeing that that's when, um, you were getting signs that, um, and you were possibly getting dreams that were back in the spring. And they're telling you right now that you are moving in the right direction. Um, I'm seeing that some of y'all, like I said, the last time that you talked to a certain person could have been in the spring. If this is somebody that was in your past, the last time that you and this person talked to each other, I saw each other was in the spring. Um, your desires fully manifest as flowers begin to bloom. So a lot of new beginnings is going to be happening, happening. Some of y'all could be wanting to go travel. Some of y'all could be thinking about taking a vacation with, you know, a certain person that you have a deep connection with. Um, some of y'all are going to get ready to take on a new adventure. Some of y'all are going to be a little bit more determined when it comes to you um, just being, you know, your overall self. Um, this is travel um, and upcoming trip proofs to be a life changing an upcoming trip proves to be life changing in positive ways. So that I'm just seeing, like I said, if y'all are getting ready to take a trip or if you're getting ready to have um, a travel arrangements, could it could be the holidays because, like I said, a lot of us people are going to be traveling for Thanksgiving, you know, Christmas um, to be with their family members. So they're saying that this is going to be po a positive thing for you. Um, the next card we have is connect with nature. So like I was saying earlier, when Tauruses are more Earth signs, you more need to be connected with nature. So we pay the, the, the flowers, the trees, the things that was put on earth were here, put on earth to help us, you know, heal, 
and help us stay in tune with our overall reality so they're telling you some of y'all do need to go out in nature some of y'all do need to touch trees some of y'all do need to be more in tune with you know overall the 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 earth with gaia um so a lot of y'all are going to be doing a lot of more spiritual healing some of y'all are going to start going to yoga some of y'all are going to start meditating some of y'all are going to be using you know different things that's going to help you heal and help your process a little bit um better is what i'm getting um, so some of y'all could also be seeing a lot of butterflies too, is what I'm getting from this too. Um, the next card that we have is healing, healed and healer. So like I said, a lot of y'all are going through a healing transformation. A lot of y'all have already been healed and y'all have, y'all are going through the next step of your new beginning. A lot of y'all are healers. A lot of y'all are going to be going more into, um, you know, a career where it's, it helps heal other people, um, is what I'm getting from this. Healing energy surrounds you in this situation. So a lot of y'all are, like I said, have always been in tune with the overall universe. Your ancestors, you know, always able to get the signs. But it's just that some of y'all have been going through certain heartbreaks or certain cycles in your life that cause you to disconnect with, you know, the overall gifts that you have that was available to you because you being um, an earth sign. Okay. Okay, so the next card we have is unlikely. So when it says in this, if some of y'all have been thinking about, um, let's say if some of y'all have been trying to make a decision if a certain person is meant to be in your life, there could be some of y'all that's going to be getting um, signs that this person is not supposed to be in your life and you um, you and this person is going to end up disconnecting from each other. Um, some of y'all also are um, noticing, like I said, that... Um, let me let me let me clarify this real quick. <laughs> okay, some of y'all are um some of y'all are okay, so somebody is going to be coming back to try to give you a certain a so, okay, so I I'm hearing it's two sets of Tauruses. Somebody of y'all are was dealing with somebody that was also an earth sign. Um, that you that's coming back from your past that wants to overall open off overall forgiveness um this is going to be a Taurus. it could be another Taurus. it could be a virgo or it could be a capricorn um there is some of y'all that is going to accept for this person to come back you are going to accept their overall apology and there is some of you Tauruses that are not going to be accepting this person's back coming back into your life is what i'm getting um but some of y'all um some of y'all, so like I was saying, some of y'all have uh, some decisions to make. Um, the next card that we have, wait. So some of y'all have been waiting for this person to come back. Um, let's say if this is a person that's from your past or this person was been waiting to come back to you. I'm seeing that they're saying um, it was wait the worth. It was worth the wait. Some of y'all are, it's telling y'all that y'all need to wait before you make a certain decision. And it could be that you need to wait to make a certain decision until after the holidays is what I'm getting from this too. So some of y'all are trying to make a decision if you're going to try to stay in a relationship or if you're going to continue to remove from yourself from a relationship. And they're telling you to wait um, until after the holidays is what I'm hearing from this too. Um, the situation will improve. So that's this card coming out is just confirming what I was hearing. Hearing is that some of y'all want to go ahead and make a certain this, this situation, uh, a, a certain change, but they're saying for you to wait a little bit longer until the end of the holidays. And you're going to notice that this person is going to start changing. Um, or you're going to start noticing that your situation is going to be changing um, within yourself as too. Um, so like I said, a lot of y'all are going through transformations. A lot of y'all are questioning what's going on in your life. And they're saying, just wait. You're going to start getting the signs and the signals that's going to help you move forward in your life is what I'm getting. So they're saying, wait before you make a big decision. Mercury retrograde is coming around. So this could be also telling you to wait um, until after Mercury retrograde is um, done, which is in November, to make some type of decision. Because um, then, like I said, you'll see that there's going to be some type of uh, improvement that's going to be taking place then. Yeah, so like I was saying, somebody's wanting to come back. So somebody is, um, yeah... 
So Taurus, some of, one, some of you Tauruses are going to be getting a brand new beginning, a uh, brand new start. Somebody is wanting to come to tell you how much they really care about you. Somebody wants to express their emotions and just tell you how much they really love you. Um, this is also about you opening up, you receiving the love, you being more um, caring. Um, this is also about you being a little bit more ge generous when it comes to you expressing your overall emotions as well as, you know, the forgiveness card coming out, you forgiving this this person. So like I was saying, some of you Tauruses are going to be forgiving. Y'all are going to forgive a certain person. Um, this person possibly could be somebody that has earth and um, water in their chart is what I'm getting. So the Page of Cups is Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Um, this is also the next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. So like I was saying, some of y'all are... Um, going through certain situations as far as, you know, trying to heal and gain your confidence. Some of y'all are also, like I said, going through a major transformation, which is going to cause you to be a little bit more uh, independent. Um, they're saying that you have, you know, took the time you have invested and a lot of y'all are going to be getting a new, some new brand, uh, some new brand new beginnings that's going to be coming. Some of somebody is wanting to be very loyal. Somebody is wanting to give some type of commitment. This is also about you taking responsibility. This is also about you being more um, in your big hearted energy and being more hard work working. So like I was saying earlier, a lot of y'all are good mothers. A lot of y'all are good fathers. Um, and you are, like I said, sometimes, sometimes it could have been that you put yourself in some type of situation, which caused you to be a little bit more selfish as well as a little bit more controlling um and you know have that jealousy energy um but i'm seeing that a lot of y'all are getting out of that energy a lot of y'all are going to be the fool a lot of y'all are going to be taking a new direction and seeing a new perspective this is about new beginnings this is about starting brand new this is about you getting a fresh start and with this coming on top of the situation will approve so i'm seeing as long as you stick it out as long as you do the things that you need to do and you be more on the energy of good than you are on the energy of bad i'm seeing that you're going to get a brand new beginning um you're going to be a little bit more open-minded and it's going to cause you to reap the benefits that was always meant to come to you okay um so good reading overall taurus um if you have um any questions um leave comments subscribe to my channel and i want to say thank you and you have a great day